Can you guess what we're putting in this barn? I'm Sean the Shepherd, and this is Adventures in Minecrafting. Welcome back. We're here today on the hunt. Shh. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting beasties. Uh. Deep in the woods across the river from our mansion on the search for beasties. And we're going to see if we can find one of the most elusive creatures in all of Minecraft. One of the most cruel and vicious animals that you have ever encountered here in this game of pixels. And what animal, you ask? Why, the derpy beast. You've never heard of the Derpy Beast? Let me tell you all about it. There is a creature in Minecraft that is often misunderstood and seldom feared as it should be. It does not dwell in the deepest of caves, nor does it swoop down unsuspecting from the night sky. It is an overland dweller, waiting patiently to maim the unsuspecting passerby. I am referring, of course, to the Derpy Beast. Here we see the Derpy Beast in its natural environment. Some would consider it docile, passive, even cute. They're fools. Alone, they can seem playful, even harmless. But get three of those guys chasing you through a dark forest, and let's just say, those britches are going to need a changing. And woe to that person who approaches the derpy beast from behind, thinking perhaps to pet its fluffy curls or gather its over 16 valuable drops. No, no, seriously, don't don't approach it from behind. Just, just don't do that. It'll rattle its dags at you, and even though I don't know what a dag is or why a rattling noise is even scary, don't say you weren't warned. The front of the derpy beast isn't much better. Seldom does a traveler look into that drooling, gaping maw, those intense, beady eyes, those wiggly little ears and come away unscathed. The Derpy Beast is equipped with very specific mechanisms for protecting itself from predators. Like the lizard who can lose its tail and grow a new one, the Derpy Beast when attacked with a sharp object can release its outer covering from its body and go on grazing. On you. For the naked derpy beast is perhaps the most horrifying thing you will ever see in Minecraft. But do not fear, it will regrow its coat at its very next meal. Which also might be you. But shedding its coat is not its only protection. When angered the derpy beast can instantly engulf itself in flames. Well. That photographer was a dummy. Didn't anyone ever teach him about telescopic lenses? Doubt the GoPro survived that one. And so, the next time you are wandering through the dangerous world of Minecraft, be careful, be cautious, be clever, because there are derpy beasts out there, and, well, they're looking at you. Well, I trust that nature documentary made things nice and crystal clear for you. You know, in the last episode, we got this armor that we have all nice and fresh and leveled up. And now it's time to use this armor to go after the derpy beast. That's right, if we can get 16 derpy beasts wrangled up in a corral, then we can have 16 different colors of wool, and we'll be all set on all the wool and all the carpet we'll ever need in this game. In fact, let's go ahead and automate it. We need to catch ourselves some derpy beasts. 
Come on. Come on. Here, little derpy. Here, little derpy. We've been able to breed up a number of these derpy beasts, otherwise known as sheep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, little baby, eight, nine. We need to get to about 16 of them. But while they're breeding up, I was just over here clearing away some land. I think this is going to be the perfect spot for a farm building. And we'll keep all of these sheep uh, in a farm complete with automatic uh, sheep shears. And so here is our first little derpy beast quality of life holding tank. And it's a good life. Okay, let's go over to just get one of... Yeah, thank you, thank you, come on. Okay, and close the gate behind you. Follow me. Follow me, you pretty little derpy beast. And open that. And come on, here, here we go. And do a little spinny thing. Here you go. Oh. In you go. Come on, come on. Okay, we might have to take off. And we are good to go. We have, oh, what a pleasant place. What a pleasant place for the derpy beast to stay. Okay, so we are going to dig a three deep cavernous cavern. We're going to put those guys in there. And then we're going to add a hopper. And then on top of the hopper, we are going to put a rail and then on top of that rail we are going to put a hopper mine cart now this is going to be important for picking up all of the wool drops put that guy right there perfect okay and now we're going to go huh. okay we'll put a piece of dirt right above it and i might be able to do this did you hear it? Did you hear it? Oh, naked derpy beast. So so sorry. Do we need to censor this? Is this will we lose will we lose YouTube status if if we show naked derpy beasts on camera? But there it is. And if you look down here, we have white wool. Perfect. Okay, now let's see if I can do this from right here. Go right there. Perfect. And we need a some little bit of redstone. Oh, I forgot. I always forget this. Let me show you. You have to take, you have to take the um, rail out. If you don't take the rail out, it doesn't work. Now, if we replace that, boom. Now, why did we do that? That is the question, isn't it? What we've just done is we've embedded a hopper minecart into a dirt block. And what that means is anything we throw on that dirt block gets picked up by the hopper minecart and tossed down into the chest. Perfect. Okay, so here's what we want to do. We want a uh, an observer watching this block here that we just built. So we'll put that out here. There is our right there. And then we need a dispenser right there. We need a pair of shears inside of it. Perfect. We'll fill this all up with shears later. And then one piece of redstone right there. That is the extent. This is not, this is not a difficult thing to build. Okay, so I will put it all together and bring you back when we've got them all set up.
have it. All eight of the shelters are in place. All of them full of white sheep. We're going to have so much white wool. Just kidding. Just, just kidding. I, I, I'm not just making white wool. I'm going to make all the colors of the rainbow. You say, well, how are you going to do that? Well, we're going to dye them. So I had a little adventure up into my base looking through my storage system and I was able to find, wait for it, 15 of the 16 colors available to us. Now we're missing one and that one is brown. We need cocoa beans, but cocoa beans are found in a jungle biome and we have not yet found a jungle biome. So maybe in the next episode, we're gonna need to go on a little adventure. We can pick up some cocoa beans, maybe even pick up a parrot. So let's get to it, dying these sheep. someday. So one final step before we finish up the episode and that is this. We need to make that pile of dirt look like a barn. And just like that, we have a barn. Look at that. Our derpy beasts are no longer feeling derpy. They've got a home of their own. Let's go take a look. Let me give you a little tour. We've got a wench, I believe this is called, out front of a pulley system to get things up into the loft. Uh, we've got the shutters on the loft, so that can be closed up. A uh, nice external here, you can see along the edge. And let's go on inside. Here's all of our stalls for our sheep. And you see we've even put in a ceiling. That, that uh, ceiling is, um, the upper roof, is high enough to put in a whole nother floor up here. And I didn't have a lot of wheat, but I had a little, so I put this wheat up here, and I had a few barrels, so I put some barrels up here. And look at that, we got a couple sheep left over. There you go. So there's our wool farm. Hope you enjoyed this episode. In fact, let's see how we're doing here. Uh, we got tons of white wool, tons of gray wool. Those are the only ones I've put um, those are the only ones I've put shears into, uh, obviously, because I wanted to do the edge of the barn in wool. Well, the, the sun is going down, so I'm going to say that is all the time we have for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like. Uh, be sure and subscribe so that you know exactly when our next episodes come out. And until next time, I'm Sean the Shepherd, and this has been... 
adventures in Minecrafting.